EHC Red Bull Munich and Straubing Tigers created history together with a 42 penalty shootout during a game in 2010. The cities being so close together, there is always room for big rivalries. EHC Munich and Straubing have a great history when they had the penalty shootout two years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with, with what kind of expectation did you come here? Well, it's always a good to have a rivalry, you know, and a, and a team close by, and uh, they're always energy-charged games. I know last year some of our most intense games were against Munich, and I know this year we've got three more to go. It's going to be the same thing. This time the Bulls hunted the Tigers down, winning 3-1, overcoming two times five-minute power play by Straubing. A relief for EHC, having had only one point out of five games so far. I'm, I'm happy for my players. I mean, we've invested a lot of energy the last two weeks and, and always seem to come up short. Tonight, we found a way, and that was important. You know, I thought that this was a character win. I thought every one of my players battled extremely hard, and it's nice to see something pay off for them. You know, it, it makes you a little more convinced about what you need to do, and it makes you want to keep working hard. So we needed that. And, you know, I, I'm usually... Uh, here saying, you know, performance is the most important thing, performance is the most important thing, we're playing well, but we're not winning. Tonight, uh, we didn't play as well as we could or should have, but we won. And I think at this stage, after the last two weeks, this was the most important thing. And the next game is on Friday, so you hardly have time to breathe through. And it's against Krefeld, who is in the middle on the tablet. So how are you playing against that game? What are, is going to be the preparation? Well, you know, we have to look at tonight's game and improve where we were not so good. I thought one of the areas where we weren't so good tonight was uh, moving the puck out of our defensive zone. I thought often we had the puck and gave it back to our opponent when they pressured us, so we're going to have to do a better job of that. Um, you know, Krefeld, I think, has some very skilled players. Um, uh, so we have to make sure we're a little more disciplined and not taking penalties, because if we take this amount of penalties against Krefeld, it's going to be extremely difficult and then uh, the rest is going to be just energy and work and compete and and yeah, build on that. Yeah.